Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Expert Division with the qualifying round win for the Big Catch Tournament and the Waterfield Sounds here in Golf Clash the game. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel, also that you do hit the thumbs up button and turn on the notifications. The shots that you will see here in this video is made by myself but also by Brandon Burke. Make sure to subscribe to his channel, you can find the link in the description directly down below. If you do want to get the best guides on the market for expert or for pro or for master, you can bundle it together or just uh, get a single division package. But now also with the new tour rotation that has been made. So make sure to get our exclusive tour text guides. We will have them out as soon as possible so you can start crushing the new courses in tour play. Link is directly in the description down below or just scan the QR code that is here on the screen. Info box on the right hand side to get the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also what ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind that those are all suggestions and you don't have to follow it if you don't want to, but there's always a plan behind it. So let's go to hole number one. On the drive start with a power three ball in NMT and we do re I do recommend them to swap to a power four or power five win the three or win four ball if you do have any of those ball types in your golf bag. If you do not then stick with a P3 ball it will work the only, the only problem it could be is if you do not get the rollout as we would like then you might find yourself slightly short and going to have to adapt the backspin to get the ball guideline as we want but that's again on the second shot so uh, adjust max plus 10 p3 7 top spin to right spin we want to have that little rollout like we're getting here now and to get ourselves up to approximately 300 sorry 425 or more second shot we're playing with our grizzly here you can play with grizzly level 7 8, uh, 7 or 8 or 9 I would say that when you play with a level 7 or a level 8 I would most definitely try to play with a power 4 ball as minimum because of the 3 yards lesser power that you do have than Grizzly level 9. 1.8 backspin is what I will settle for in the end leaving the ball guideline the tip of the ball guideline one green square short. Once that is done we're going to use a lot of adjustment here it's going to be uh, from plus three as a base for Grizzly 9 it's 94% slider with a 45% elevation with P3 numbers Grizzly level 7 or 8 is going to be 100% slider from plus three and we're adding or subtracting 0.1 uh, from there center the ball hit perfect and you will see yourself having a really good chance uh, for an eagle here from distance Very important to pack the sniper or any other common wood club uh, as the wood club just because we want to find minimum line. So we're going to use 2.1 top spin. We're going to be in absolute minimum distance. Now we're moving right until we see the ball guideline to have to be covering uh, just a little bit of uh, the left side of the cup and also the second bounce to be just at the right side or just by the divide of the dark and the bright green square. Adjustment here now is going to be a minimum distance with a 20% over adjustment power two ball second it's power two ball setting. Adjustment is done center the ball and also add the wind angle tweaks as well that we do have in the guide and then you're gonna bounce into the rough, roll up into the massive funnel, it rolls down, and we're getting ourselves a very nice hole in one on hole number two. This has been an absolute, absolute money shot so far. Really nice one. And nice to be able to spend a katana. It's not that often I'm gonna have to do that. You don't have to play with a katana if you wanna spend any other P2, 
uh, side spin two, win two ball, then that's up to you. But there isn't really as many uh, balls out there do have the uh, similar stats like the katana like that. So on the drive here, we're going to start with an apocalypse here. You can see I'm playing with a power four ball. Is that needed? No, it's not. You can play with a P3 ball all the way here. I actually thought when I was looking at the wind here, thinking, hmm, I might be having headwind on the second shot. But obviously that was just a stupid thought because the wind is pointing right to left and the green is on the left, which means that we're going to have tailwind on the second shot. So I'm playing this one exactly the same as we would be doing with a power three ball. So there's no change here. Three left and five top spin. Adjust max plus 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 minus zero p three. I'm gonna use two balls of left curl. No overpower. No underpower. And the ball is rolling down the fairway very nicely and we are far away from the rough lines and we are looking now to just prepare ourselves for a second shot then a third shot i'm gonna get ourselves to uh, to an eagle on the second shot you will notice here that we do have a tailwind and so in the end it's not really necessary for me to play with a power four ball or power five ball i could have saved those and played with a kingmaker instead using all the side spin and now you're gonna use, in my opinion, use as much top spin you can together with the three left spin. And the reason for that is because it will get you closer to green. And the closer to green we are, the better it's going to be for a wedge. But the important part, look at your ball guideline. It should be pointing towards that rough patch there on the right. And that is important because otherwise you might get yourself in a weird angle and that's not really what we want to do. Max curl to the left. And we're not going to use uh, any overpower here whatsoever. We're just going to center the ball. Oh, yeah. yeah, not center the ball. We're going to use no overpower or underpower with the curl. And the ball is going to roll down towards the green area. And now it's not entirely done, but we do have a straight win for the third shot, which should, uh, should give us an eagle fairly safe. So on the third shot here, you can decide to either go with the regular EB school with no spin, which is plus 20 P5, or you're going with the max top spin EB school and you play minus 35% P4 numbers. But the EB school with max top spin can only be played with a Enbringer 7 and also with Enbringer 8. So those of you with lower level Enbringers um, has to play the no spin rule if you're gonna play the EB school in my opinion, or you have to come up with a an own rule obviously hole number three we take the eagle and we absolutely run but have in mind there's no need to play with a special ball if you don't want to it's actually a stupid decision of me because i thought i would be having headwind on the second shot which was definitely not the case Hole number four, we're gonna start with a power three ball in complete minimum distance with our sniper. And we're going to, in that case, use a three left spin. And we're not gonna use any top spin or back spin whatsoever. Now, I would say it's more important for you to look at the blue rings position to just slightly overlapping the rough line than it is to look at the ball guideline. And why do I say that? It's because the ball guideline is in a little glitchy spot which means that even if I'm moving, so I'm having like a third of the blue ring inside the rough, it could look exactly the same with the ball guideline um, as I would be as it has now. In this angle, we're gonna go with curl, we're gonna go with right curl, and obviously everything is displayed in the guide with the wind angle tweaks. And even if we do have wind angle tweaks here, and even though there's a drop here, and we do have several drops with this uh, shot, it is a difficult one. In headwind especially, it is difficult for because we're going to have to use the downslope and roll the ball, the ball towards the green, which is not a perfect spot to have the ball to bounce. So we're getting it in there, an adjustment we do have in the video is minimum distance, 40% elevation, power four ball numbers.
So on the drive here, we're actually going to start with the Guardian hole number five. And the thing that you need to have in mind here is that we are playing this one conservative. And the reason we do that is because it's the qualifying round. And it's also because the wind is not really allowing us to, in an easy way, get over to the Faraway Island. And sure, getting over to the Faraway Island is your way to get yourself an Albatross attempt. But that is a very difficult one to get regardless. Or not the albatross attempt, but it's a very difficult one to drop an albatross regardless. So as it is the qualifying round, we don't see any value in pushing too hard and risking the eagle where we can get our eagle safely. And sure, there might be that we are losing out on an albatross attempt, but it would, it, but it is in our opinion the much better way to attack this hole in the qualifying round. Would be different if it would be the opening or the weekend round. White ring to the right by the rough line, uh, top of plus 18 with the Goliath level 9, and obviously the Goliath level uh, 7. Um, it's going to. Uh, Goliath level 7 is going to be a different landing spot due to the lesser power, and that's uh, the same as well. With, um, and the Goliath 8 and Goliath 9 start at the same. And we're, we're playing with the Guardian, not the Goliath, obviously. So the Guardian is the one that you should focus on. So we're actually playing Guardian times two on a par five, which is kind of weird, but I mean, we are getting the eagle. On the second shot, we are going to stretch out now. And now it is important to take a look at how many rings we are onto the fairways. One and a half ring, uh, which is uh, then going to be something we need to remember. Max backspin, one left spin. We're adjusting max plus 10 P5. What we're going to have to do here now is that once we have made an adjustment, we are going to push up the the amount of rings that gets us to three rings past the rough line so if i'm one and a half ring past the rough line i'm doing one and a half ring more here i'm pushing up a little bit more because i misread the note that i've done uh, and going one ball of left curl so what i would say here if you feel uncomfortable with how much to push up always push up more than what you feel is enough because here we're not really going for an albatross, we're going for a safe eagle as I explained from the beginning. It's the qualifying round. There is no point with the wind that we do have of T to try to get over to the fairway island and risking the alb risking the eagle for an absolute very difficult shot to get an albatross on the second shot. It would be different if it would be opening round and the weekend round. Here I feel very confident by getting my eagle and to be done with it. Hole number six, we're starting with a quarterback in NMT with a power three ball, then we're swapping to an Apocalypse and the B-52 bag. You can also swap to an Apocalypse and Goliath bag, and it all depends on if you do have, in my opinion, if you do have B-52 six or better, use the B-52 for its better accuracy. But if not, then you play with the Goliath and you follow the Goliath slide in the guide, and otherwise you follow the B-52 slide in the guide. The drive is exactly the same on both shots. Adjust max plus 10 P3 and then we're gonna go max overpower with a completely slow needle and looking to get to around 390 yards. Somewhere around that mark is gonna be perfect. And you can see here I'm playing with a win 4 ball, you can play with a win 3 if you would like, you can play with a P4, P5 ball. I mean, you can play with more or less whatever ball uh, you wanna spend here. I would say keep the win between win 3 and win 4, that would be ultimate for the second shot. On the second shot here, we do have the B-52. We're going to do a bottom white uh, fringe shake where the fringe meets the green. And uh, now we're going to, you can see here, I'm looking for different uh, ring references here. But we're going to do the bottom white fringe shake aligned with pin. Very important to have that in mind. Plus one it is, a three right spin and 4.9 top spin is what I'm looking for in here now. One click less than five top spin. A red ring by the rough line with B-52 level eight and seven. And if you do have B52 level 6, just barely overlapping the rough line, ball guideline through the hole. Now, from plus 1, we do have a base of 86% slider plus 5% elevation, P3 numbers, and we're adding or subtracting 0.1 from there. It will always be um, a range that you pull over the bullseye, so that's not something we're going to have to add. Center the ball, it's perfect. I do believe this is a very good chance to drop for an hole, not an hole in one obviously, but for an eagle. Let's see here, we bounce into the rough nicely, we roll up 
all the right spin takes that little curve down the green very nicely and dropping it right at pin Hole number seven, this is a specific shot for those that do can play with a side spin four ball. Doesn't have to be a Kingslayer, can be a wind five ball as well if you would like, but minimum a uh, wind four ball. We're gonna play with the white ring touching the bunker and the rough, and we're gonna play with 4.5 top spin and 3.7 left spin is what I'm uh, trying to use here. I don't like half spins, but there's a massive funnel is on this screen. So if you are a little bit off, it most definitely will still be giving you a good chance. No wind angle tweaks whatsoever. Adjustment is one to one plus 1 1.5. So I'm playing in this case 8.9 rings for 7.4 miles per hour. Sent to the ball and hit perfect. And this is going to come in very lovely on the green. For those that do not have a side spin four ball or has no will, uh, no interest in playing that, we obviously have another option as well for those that want to keep it completely free to play, playing with a kingmaker or something like that with side spin three. This one gets right the pin for a lovely hole in one here on hole number seven. On the drive on hole number eight, I've been trying so many spirit and old ball shots that I feel frustrated about wasting so many of them because I couldn't find anything consistent. It was all about getting a lucky bounce if gonna get over the rough or not. Bullseye by just the edge of the rough and the the growl patch or like the, the rock path or whatever you wanna call it. Adjust max plus 10 P5. Two right and one top. Max overpower with a slow needle. Center line going down in the middle of the triangle. So 2.25 ball of right curl. Bounces on the fairway nicely over the rough. And we're going to land somewhere around 405 yard mark. And from there we do have a long iron towards the pin. Good chance. Hole number eight, second shot. We're gonna play with the Grizzly, no spin. We're gonna do top of the white ring check with the top of the white ring by the pin at plus nine. We're gonna have our base. Our base is gonna be plus 11 with Grizzly nine, plus 14 with Grizzly seven and eight. A 38% slider from that plus yards. And then we add our subtract point one from there. Two pulls across the bullseye. Grizzly nine numbers all the way. Sent to the ball and hit perfect. And we're going to have a good chance for a drop. Very important to leave the tip of the ball guideline one green square short of pin. Otherwise you have a risk of coming too hot. So as I said from the start, I've been trying so many... Uh, I feel a bit frustrated of spending so many spirits in all balls and sure even though I was on green sometimes I was more times not and that's not a consistent see I want to play with especially when we have such a great shot laying up here with a circ. On the drive here we're going to play um, with our apocalypse and we're gonna do five top spin three left spin we're starting at uh, just below plus one uh, with uh, all our apocalypse besides apoc four which starts a little bit higher up half of the red ring inside the rough with apoc eight and then we are making an adjustment of max plus 10 p3 one and a half ball of left curl and trying to hit perfect Bounces on nicely on the fairway. Now we do want to get this little rollout here to get ourselves to around 360 uh, as minimum, I would say. The better to go a little bit longer and uh, then to be shorter than 360. Second shot, we're gonna go for a rough bump with this option. For those that do not feel confident with a rough bump, go with the bounce up shot instead. Top of the white ring by 
the uh, fringe which is our reference i would say that those of you playing with grizzly level uh, seven and eight uh, is going to struggle a little bit with that reference because you have less yardage than grizzly level nine something to have in mind when deciding on which uh, which shot to play on hole nine you can see that i'm leaving the ball guideline way short and even if it looks like the ball guideline is um, pointing towards the right side of the cup, it's actually pointing towards the cup. It's just that the green slopes uh, a little bit to the left and therefore it looks like that. Uh, but you can try yourself to move up towards the pin and then back up and you will notice the difference there. So we're going to do uh, a frame shake as already explained. And we are going to uh, use plus seven as uh, frame check and we are going to do that as 100% slider uh, with a 5% elevation p3 numbers and that's a base with Gracie 9 but as always when it comes to our uh, guide we are remaking numbers and stuff like that to be a little bit better aligned to work with Gracie 7 and 8 and 9 but it's going to be based on the drop here that we do have on the video Thank you so much everybody for watching this playthrough for Expert Division with a qualifying round win here for the uh, Big Catch Tournament and the Waterfield Sounds. Make sure that you do go and subscribe to our patreon.com slash golfclash Tommy, our ultimate tournament guide packages for expert or for pro or for master. And now with the new tour rotation as well, uh, make sure to sign up and get uh, the exclusive tour text guides as well. We will as quick as possible get uh, those updated guides out to all of you a link in the description down below or you scan the qr code here on the screen thank you so much everybody for watching good luck in your golf clash game